Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dalam video kali ini kita akan bincangkan example 11. Yang ini example berkaitan dengan problem solving uh, Newton second law. Now according to Newton second law, uh, net force is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum. And from that definition, uh, we derive a popular equation yang kita selalu pakai which is F is equals to MA. Now, F in this equation is actually the net force is equals to MA. Now, this equation is coming from Newton's second law. So, example 11, kita akan discuss bagaimana untuk kita gunakan uh, apply equation ini dalam menyelesaikan masalah berkaitan dengan Newton's second law. So, example 11 uh, berbunyi, a 10 kilogram box is pulled along a horizontal smooth surface by a force FP applied at an angle 30 degree above the horizontal as shown in figure 4.18. Calculate the acceleration of the box. So, kotak ni ditarik ke kanan dengan force FP dia bagi tahu okey so let's list our non value uh, mass of the ball is 10 kg and then we have um, the external force FP is 40 newton And angle theta is 30 degree. So, a non-value uh, from question A is the acceleration. And from question B, uh, the normal force is also unknown. So, sebenarnya kita dah identify uh, force dalam case ini pada uh, example 1B so kat sini kita ada external force normal force weight uh, and then since this is a smooth surface so uh, this case uh, tidak ada friction so hanya ada tiga forces saja yang bertindak ke atas objek ini ok so after we identify the forces we draw free body diagram uh, of the object. We have FP at an angle theta. I have weight downward and normal force upwards and okay. Terdapat sikit perbezaan di antara free body diagram bagi case static friction dan free body diagram bagi case uh, dynamic motion uh, seperti example 11 disebabkan example 11 ataupun uh, case dynamic case pergerakan yang melibatkan acceleration maka kita perlu lakarkan direction of acceleration di tepi free body diagram so, dalam kes ini, disebabkan objek ini ditarik ke kanan. Therefore, kita kata the object accelerate to the right. So, in our free body diagram, kita pun tambahkan acceleration to the right. So, acceleration ini penting untuk kita lukiskan dalam diagram kerana kita nak apply equation yang melibatkan acceleration F is equal to MA. Now, from this diagram, kita nampak bahawa acceleration berada pada X component. Acceleration tidak berada pada Y component. Objek ini bergerak pada X component dan tidak pada Y component. So, acceleration pada Y component adalah kosong. Manakala acceleration pada X component Disebabkan objek ini ditarik along a horizontal surface pada X component, 
maka acceleration pada X component adalah A. So, itu yang kita nak cari. Yang seterusnya, kita boleh terus resolve vector uh, di dalam table seperti biasa. So, kita ada force X component dan juga Y component. Ada tiga force yang terlibat kat sini. N, W dan external force FP. Now, for X component, since the object accelerate in X component, so the net force in X component is equals to MA, but the net force in Y component is equals to zero because the object does not accelerate in Y component. So let's resolve the forces. So N berada pada Y axis. Therefore, N Y is equals to positive N. N tidak berada pada X axis dan tidak juga berada di antara X dan Y axis seperti FP. So kita kata N X is equals to zero. Weight berada pada Y axis. Okay, so again W Y is equals to negative W. Okay, negative because W is downwards. Weight tidak berada pada X axis dan tidak boleh berada di antara X dan Y axis. So W X is equals to zero. Now, ini berbeza dengan uh, vector FP. Now, if you look at the diagram, we can resolve vector FP into X and Y component. So, FPX and FPY. So, if you look at the diagram, FPX is adjacent to angle theta. If it is adjacent, therefore, we use cos theta. So, FPX is equals to hypotenuse is fp cos theta and positive because fpx is to the right meanwhile fpy is opposite to angle theta so if it is opposite opposite is sine so fpy is equals to fp the hypotenuse sine theta and it is positive because fpy is upwards so let's look at x component and y component in this table we want to find acceleration so if you look at this table there is no acceleration in y component because the object move in a horizontal surface in x component so if we want to find acceleration a therefore we need to use X component to solve for A. So from X component, let's write the equation from X component. Sum of Fx is equals to MA. Now, direction of A is positive, so ataupun a adalah unknown value so kita tak perlu substitute sign sum of fx dalam kes ini adalah nx plus wx plus fpx is equals to ma nx is 0 plus wx is 0 plus fp cos theta is equals to ma so sebenarnya saya tak perlu pun tulis uh, bahagian ini Cuma saya tulis kada untuk lebih detail dalam perbincangan saya. Usually, I will directly write FPX is equal to MA. Dan saya terus solve uh, masalah ni. So, then kita substitute value. FP is equal to 40 Newton. Cos angle theta is 30 degree. That is equal to the mass is 10 kilogram times the acceleration so we solve this uh, equation to find a and the answer for a 
is equals to 3.46 meter per second square. So that's the answer for example 11A. Example 11B, we want to find the normal force. Okay, so if you look at the table, normal force hanya ada pada y component. So n x adalah kosong, so kita tak boleh nak gunakan x component. So if you look at y component, kita ada n, so kita boleh selesaikan uh, equation daripada y component untuk dapatkan n. So from y component, sum of f y is equals to zero. So n y plus w y plus f p y. is equals to 0 and y is positive and w y is negative w and f p y is f p sine theta so now we can um, substitute the value and plus okay uh, the weight is mass times gravitational acceleration g plus 40 sine 30 is equals to 0. So, yang ini sebenarnya weight is equals to mg. That's the equation for weight. So, we solve this equation. Okay. Then, we can get n is equals to 78.1 newton okay so that's the answer for b so in this video i show you how to use a uh, table to resolve vectors in table to find for acceleration and normal force and please uh, tambah acceleration dalam kita punya free body diagram supaya kita jelas Di manakah arah objek ini memecut? Okay, kerana ada equation yang memerlukan acceleration dan kita nak tahu dia sama ada memecut pada x component ataupun memecut pada y component. Okay, so itu saja. Nanti kita akan uh, sambung lagi pada example 12 yang hampir sama. Cuma kita tambah friction. Uh, itu saja untuk video kali ini. Terima kasih.